So the team have been working super hard this November to bring some of the best features and improvements to Veed. And today I'm gonna to share with you some of the top ones. And with that being said, let's get started and jump right in. Starting with something like editing on canvas. So this one was actually requested by a lot of you and editing on canvas makes Veed more intuitive. Instead of having to change some of the elements from the side panels, you can now directly click on them and edit them thanks to a contextual taskbar that appears just below it. And for the next one, anyone that collaborates and works with other people on projects is absolutely going to love it. We've got review mode. Review mode is going to increase and improve your collaboration. Now, without even finishing a project, you can invite someone to come and leave comments and suggestions. So you no longer have to export, you can just invite them, they can come and view the video and leave comments within the project. Now moving on, we've got avatars and we're making avatars more prominent. So a few months ago, back in July, we released avatars that allowed you to make talking head videos without needing anyone to be in front of the camera. And we've got some great feedback from avatars and so we've decided to make them more present within the editor so it's easier for you guys to find them. And talking of avatars, if you're on the enterprise plan, Veed has just included the ability to make custom avatars of yourself so you can make videos of yourself without actually needing to record them. So if that's something you're interested in, contact the sales team. Now let's just step away from desktop to a second and head over to mobile. Veed's mobile app has recently just included a bunch of more subtitle presets, including styling and animations to help you make the best subtitles possible in the shortest amount of time. And then if we go back to desktop, one of my favorite releases this month, one of my favorites, I've got a lot of favorites, is the search box. With all the new awesome and powerful tools being added to the editor, we've realized that it's becoming harder and harder to find the tools that you love and use on a day-to-day -day basis. So to make it easy for you to access them, we have included a search box that allows you to just search for something instead of having to look through the menus and finding it. So if you wanna translate your video, just search for it. And you can actually also launch the search box by using Command K, which is very useful. And then finally, the best tell last. Veed has released an AI powered tool called Voice Cloning. The Voice Clone feature allows you to generate text-to-speech that sounds exactly like you. All you have to do is head over to the text-to-speech feature, go through the Voice Clone process, which takes no more than a minute, and then you can make a voice that sounds exactly like you. And that wraps up some of the top improvements that have come to Veed this November. And before I say goodbye, I wanna know two things. First of all, what was your favorite release this month? And what are you most looking forward to? What do you want to see added to Veed? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next month. Bye.